depends on what month we're looking at. <laughs> uh, April 28th, I, I uh, was born, so they were uh, playing for a regional right when I was born, pretty much, getting into it. How, how does this feel then for you and a guy who grew up right down the road? A really, a really big deal. I mean, I think it's awesome for the program. It hadn't happened in 21 years, so I think getting to it for us, I mean, it's kind of takes steps toward uh, the future for us. And, I think it's a good good deal for us. This is all unfamiliar territory for you guys. I mean, you're all in diapers the last time they made it. So uh, the competitive edge with this group, what, what makes you guys confident heading into this? Kind of the whole last year thing where we played with a chip on our shoulder coming into this year and getting to the Big 12 championship and playing against some of the best teams in the country in the Big 12 conference, I think, kind of helps us out going down the, down the road and kind of play with that chip on our shoulder and kind of got to the postseason this year. So. Pretty good for us. When you play in the number one RPI conference, what does that do for you when you look at the field of 64 and, and think, hey, we've we've played against you know these top eight seeds and, and, and some of the best that's out there? I think it helps us. I mean, I don't think uh, it could hurt us in any way. I mean, all these teams are really good teams, and you go to the Big 12 tournament right before you go to the postseason. It helps us a bunch, too. So going 2-2 two and two this year in the Big 12 tournament against some of the best teams in the country, I think will help us down the road. You're telling yourself you're playing in uh, Oklahoma City, North Carolina this weekend? Yeah, <laughs> I guess Coach Mace said uh, Oklahoma City is kind of our home field, he kept saying, so maybe we could uh, so you get down there and see what we got. But you personally, obviously you've hit extremely well there the last two Big 12 tournaments. Do you feel like you know, right now you're swinging it the way you, you've wanted to all year? Yeah, I mean, I, I could say that, I guess. I mean, the guy stuck with me all year, the teammates, and kind of kept positive with me, coaches and everything. You want to play your best baseball at the end of the year, so I think we are. You're a West Virginia guy, and you've been around this program. You probably know it better than a lot of the other players. What's it mean to you to be a part of a team that's ended a long streak going to the national tournament? I mean, growing up here, I mean, I've always been a West Virginia fan. I mean, I'm kind of one everybody else that sits there and watches this play. I mean, I'm, I've always been one of them, and now I'm kind of the guy that sits out there, and everybody watches now. So it's kind of a big deal to me. I don't know how to really put it into words. It's kind of hard. I mean, you guys watch pitchers go down one after another all year long. How did, how did you guys hold it together and, and use it to, to actually help yourselves? I mean, the coaches stick with us throughout the whole year. I mean, they're always positive and help us through everything when you get in those rough stretches and, and even in the heat stretches. So, yeah, coaches really. Because it's pretty, it's pretty easy to say, well, we don't have a chance now and, so, you know, kind of lose your edge. And I think I think we get through it and we're, we're playing the best conference in the in the nation, I think. I mean, a lot of people talk about it, so playing all those teams helps us. What about your opponent? You faced them midweek before. You're going to get a completely different starter to face, um, but they've kind of sputtered out there towards the end. Um, I don't know who have they said who they're throwing yet. I don't know if they're saying. I think we saw their Saturday guy in that midweek, so they threw a pretty good guy at us, and we, we held our own, and we, I think we took them down to the bottom of the ninth, and they ended up coming back, but it uh, should be a fun game. Well, he's going to be the number one, 